Why did Matt and Amy divorce? Analyzing the factors that led to Matt and Amy's split, LTBA's Amy Roloff admits ex Matt Roloff will have an impact on me until the day I die. Hello, dear lovely viewers, welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. I will explain everything, never miss this video. I am Jesse, welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I would like to say like this video and please subscribe to the channel. Matt and Amy, who manage the family channel, have become a hot subject of discussion on different internet forums, drawing the attention of the media to the fundamental issue of the reality TV program Little People, Big World. After almost three decades of marriage, they chose to separate, which sparked significant curiosity and sparked burning concerns in the minds of fans about the reasons for the split. The demands of living under the limelight of reality television, on the other hand, may be the primary cause that may lead to the dissolution of their long-term partnership that lasted for 30 years. Amy Jo Knight is a television personality, author, and motivational speaker. She was born on September 17, 1962, in the beautiful state of Michigan in the United States, from 2005 forward. She has been actively working in these domains. Before being divorced in 2016, Amy Jo Knight was previously married to Matthew Roloff. The couple had tied the knot in 1987 and has been married ever since. Her marriage to Chris Myrick took place in 2021. This helped her gather such respect and fame, as well as a strong fan base through surging her popularity in such a short period. Additionally, her show showcases the daily life of the Roloff family by featuring in such a manner that highlights the two parents having dwarfism. Matthew Roloff, whose full name is Matthew James Roloff, was born on October 7, 1961. His birthday is October 7. He is an American television personality, author, farmer, business entrepreneur, and motivational speaker who attracts a lot of attention and is well known in the United States. A significant number of people became familiar with him as a result of his participation with his family on the reality television show Little People, Big World, which was broadcast on TLC. Turning to more such details, Roloff's daily life is the main theme of their particular show which features his ex-wife Amy and one of their four children, Zachary. Meanwhile, Roloff has dwarfism. He and his wife are no longer together. Do you know why and what's the reason behind the breaking up of their matrimonial bond with each other? Read this article continuously until the end as I have mentioned all the details below. Karen began her career as a full-time employee at Roloff Farm, where she spent 10 years. She began off as a manager before becoming Matt's personal assistant. As a laborer, Matt regarded her as an important component of the farm, particularly during the pumpkin season. According to Good Housekeeping, Matt verified that Carrie was no longer employed at the Roloff farm in 2018. Matt, did you cheat on Amy with Karen? Matt allegedly cheated on his wife with Karen, although this has never been formally verified. Matt was formerly married to Amy Roloff, an American television personality, baker, author, and motivational speaker. They met at a Little People of America conference in 1987 and were married on September 12th. Unfortunately, after over 30 years of marriage, the couple officially stated their desire to divorce in March 2014. They formally declared their divorce on June 5, 2015, and it was completed in May 2016. The couple has four children, fraternal twins Jeremy and Zach Roloff, born 1990, Molly, born 1993, and Jacob, born 1997. Amy married Chris Merrick, and Matt is now engaged to Karen Chandler. Karen, like Matt, has gone through a divorce. She married Joseph Chandler for 20 years, and they had two children, a daughter and a boy. There is no information on Karen Chandler's spouse. Matt and Amy Roloff exchanged vows in 1987, establishing a marriage relationship. They split in 2016 owing to the difficulties that came their way, which they were unable to manage entirely. This occurred after they had spent 30 years together and had developed a mutual knowledge of one other she published a memoir titled A Little Me after the three years of separation in which she detailed all of the reasons behind her divorce and Matt's extramarital relationship as a predominant reason for their split in such a shocking age where people are engaged in maintaining their family and kids' future. Amy Roloff's memoir was published after three years of separation. She went over all of the evidence that they discovered against Matt and their employee Karen Chandler, including the improper discussions that took place between them. 
She went on to say, I saw messages, pictures, and other things that should not have been shared. Between people who had just started working together and were still married to other people people continued to speculate, after reading all of the information that she has underlined, that the most significant motivating reason for Amy to file for divorce is Matt's cheating. However, as of the time that this article was written, he and Karen are still in a relationship, and it seems as if the two of them are extremely content with their relationship. Amy Roloff reportedly tied the knot with Chris Merrick, a real estate broker, on August 28, 2021, as reported by People magazine. 2016 was the year that the pair had been together in a relationship. The ceremony was held at Roloff Farms in front of 146 members of the couple's immediate family and close friends. At the ceremony, Amy donned a bracelet made of diamonds and sapphires that had been handed down from her great-grandmother, grandmother, mother, and herself. The bracelet had been passed down through the centuries. Positive developments for the whole family may be seen in the fact that Matt and Amy seem to be flourishing in their new partnerships. This demonstrates that life continues to move on after a divorce, particularly in situations when it seems to be static. As Amy worked through her emotions about her ex, Matt's fiancée Karen admitted she and Amy will forever share a bond because both they both have Matt in common even as they move on with engagements and new spouses, Amy Roloff will always hold a piece of her marriage to Matt Roloff with her. On Tuesday's episode of Little People, Big World, Amy admitted that she felt still kind of awkward around her ex-husband Matt's fiancée Karen Chandler as they met to go over a fundraiser they were planning on the farm. While Amy, 61, explained that she didn't want to hear the personal details of Karen and Matt's relationship, she added that holding on to any drama was not necessary and didn't serve anything. Still, she confessed that Matt and I's situation still has an impact on me because it'll always impact until the day I die. But you know, you just do the best you can. Karen, on the other hand, revealed that her relationship with Amy has been good. I think there's been some history where she had a lot of feelings about the farm in her space and I totally got that, she said, before noting that she had true respect for Amy's sense of maturity. And so I'm just glad that she made the choice to embrace the relationship with Matt and I because it's made all of our lives easier. Though the two may not yet be the best of friends, Karen went on to tell cameras that she's always liked Amy as she listed off the qualities they both share. We're roughly the same age and we're both a little forgetful and maybe a little clumsy. And I mean, for God's sake, we're both married to the same guy. She laughed. I'm not married yet, but you know what I mean. We've both been with Matt forever and no matter whatever happens, Amy and I will have Matt in common, the good, the bad, the whatever, she added. In February, Amy confessed that she and Karen were unlikely to ever become friends but shared how they both go out of their way to be friendly towards each other. We're cordial, we're respectful, Amy told us weekly. We can be in each other's company. We can enjoy that time. I wouldn't say we're going to be best friends or anything. Amy, who was married to Matt for 28 years up until their divorce in 2015, knew Karen for years prior to their romance because she worked at the Roloff family farm. I never wanted to have anything to do with them, but yet I'm still doing a show with them, she said of the couple, who became engaged after nearly six years of dating but that is like a job. So time changes things and you grow up or you have a different perspective on it. LP Boo's Amy Roloff admits working with Karen Chandler is awkward. Matt's situation will impact her forever. LP Boo's Amy Roloff and Matt Roloff have come a long way since their 2016 divorce, but things still aren't completely healed. The mother of four revealed that working closely with Matt's fiancé, Karen Chandler, the former longtime manager of Roloff Farms, isn't completely comfortable for her yet. For me, it's still kind of awkward to meet up with Karen, Amy 61, said in a teaser for the Tuesday, April 2 episode. Not that everything that was going on, Matt and I situation, that still doesn't have an impact on me because it'll always impact me until the day I die. Fans watched during the March 26 episode as Amy and her husband, Chris Merrick, teamed up with Karen, 56, and Matt, 62, as they planned a silent auction for the Dwarf Athletic Association of America. The former exes met with their respective partners to discuss the plans surrounding the fundraiser and Matt admitted he and Karen were letting go and letting Amy be the boss of the event. Karen is very list-drive, constantly making a list, and Amy's a little haphazard, Matt said of his ex, 
who he was married to from 1987 to 2016. And so we're in a supporting role and I think we know, we have Elaine, it's on her shoulders. Amy agreed in a private confessional that both parties were doing their part to make the event go well. The auction items, they may not have come up with a few more than I was hoping, but they're bringing in people, the LPBU star. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and stay with us. Subscribe Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.